Good afternoon everyone, and for today's craft, we're showing you how to make a Halloween plush keychain, so let's get to it. First things first, I'm just going to show you some sewing basics, like threading your needle. You're just going to push the thread right through, and then match end and end of the thread, and then tie it on the one end, so it basically is looped around twice there. And this first stitch I'm doing is called a running stitch. You're just doing an up and down with your fabric while leaving a space in between. It's sort of a basic stitch. It's called a running stitch because there's a gap in between the stitches. Another stitch you can do is something called a back stitch where you literally backtrack the stitch that you just made. So when you go up, you then go down to the previous one. So it makes almost like a straight line. This one's called a base seam stitch where basically you loop the thread around the edges and when you make the loop, you put the needle right through it and pull. I like this best when doing the seams of the plushies, but you can do yours however you want. It's entirely up to you. And to close, you're just going to get a little bit of fabric, make a loop, and pull through. And you can do this a couple times for security reasons. Just to make it secure and just to give you an idea, this is what they look like when you do it on the seam. So it's entirely up to you. We're taking our template from our craft bag and you're going to cut through both squares. And I'm adding a little detail of the band on the witch band, on the witch hat rather. And I'm just doing a running stitch of that just on the one side. So it's just the one square. Once again, I'm doing the same procedure to close. And now I'm going to take my two squares well previous squares now her cutouts and i'm going to sew along the edges i'm going to leave a gap at the very very top because that's where you're going to put in your polyfill stuffing and at the end this is what it would look like with the gap and then you can just proceed to put add your polyfill in and when it gets to the exactly how you want you just close it off doing the same stitch you're just basically repeating the same stitch that you began the project with this could also be a no sew project simply by using crafting glue or tacky glue along the edges of your cutout templates and then filling now the pumpkins all dry I'm going to add my polyfill I'm not gonna put too much in because I don't want to overstuff it with the glue once again I'm just gonna add the glue to the seam and then I'm using a Binder clip just to hold it while it dries. Your latch hook keychain. So once again, you're going to thread your needle with the knot at the end. Put the latch hook in place where you want it and just thread however you want until basically the thread is overlapping the bottom loop. And once you feel like it's secure, you can just close it off and you're finished. And this is what yours could look like. Hope you enjoyed today's craft. Till next time, stay well. Bye.